Hi, in today's video, we are going to learn about creating an email campaign within system.io and then also automating that email campaign so that it starts to deliver emails automatically for you, just like an autoresponder should. Hi, I'm Brandon. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel and hit that all important notification bell so that you get a reminder every time we upload a new video to the channel. Before we start with creating our campaign, there are a couple of prerequisites that need to have been taken care of before you can actually run a successful campaign within system.io. The first prerequisite that you need to have taken care of is registering a domain name. If you haven't done so yet, go and view this video. And in there, I will give you access to discounted domain names using Namecheap. And in there, I'll also teach you how to actually purchase and register that domain name. The second prerequisite that you need to take care of is actually authenticating your domain name within system.io. And you guessed it, I've got a video, go and watch that and take care of the authentication steps. And right, that is all that you need to do for the back end once off prerequisites that you need to have completed before you're able to run a campaign within system.io. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to head over to system.io. If you haven't already got a, an account, go and sign up for your free account. It is it is pretty straightforward, but once you've signed in, this will be your dashboard. And in order for your campaign to actually work within system.io, once again, there are a few prerequisites that you need to take care of before actually creating your very first campaign. The first prerequisite that you need to have taken care of is actually capturing someone's email address. Now, in order to do that with, within system.io, you will create an input form on a particular page or a pop-up. If you don't know how to do that, head over to my video on how to create a blog website using system.io and head over to the section called creating and using pop-ups. And in there, I discuss the use of an input form and submitting that person's information into your, into your database. So the second prerequisite is tagging that email address and that person with a unique identifier. In order to do that, we head over to contacts on the top menu, go and select tags and head over to the button on the right hand side where it says add new tag, go and select that and then just give your tag a descriptive name or that particular email. And as you can see, the tags that I've already created are new affiliate yoga and constipation. All it is, is just a placeholder or a name to identify an email address. The third prerequisite that we need to set up before actually creating our our email campaign is creating a rule. So we head over to automation, go and select rules. And in this step, we are joining the email address that we received in the input form to the tag that we have just created. So what we would do over here is we'd go and select add a rule, go and select the plus sign. And then depending where the person input their form, we will go and select either a funnel step where they have subscribed or a blog form where we've, and in this example, based upon the video that you may have watched, I would have used a blog. So I'll go and select a blog and I will go and choose that particular blog. In this case, it would be affiliate success lab and the entry point would be a blog page. And from there, I can then actually go and select a particular blog page. And in this case, I will select my homepage because I have an input form sitting on my homepage where people can input their email addresses. So now that the trigger has been defined, I will de then define what particular action is going to be taking place. And in that, I'm going to then go and select add a tag. And from the drop down list there, I am going to go and select my new tag that I've created, which is called new affiliate, and then scroll down to the bottom and go and save that particular rule. And here you can see that that rule has now been created. So when someone submits their information using the blog form and they subscribe to my newsletter or input their e email address into the input form, a tag new affiliate will be assigned to that particular email address. Up until this point, we have done the three prerequisites required in order to start creating our campaign. So in order to create our campaign, we're going to head over to emails on the top menu, go and select select campaigns and we're going to go create a new campaign. So go select create, give this campaign a name and you can give it a description purely just to help you identify what the purpose of this campaign is. And for me, I will describe this campaign as once you've given it a description, you can then select save campaign. You'll see your campaign has now been inserted. Go and select the name on the left-hand side to be able to go and edit that particular campaign. 
or in this case, we're going to be adding emails into the into the campaign. So the very first email that we're going to add, go and select add an email. So the first fields that are listed here are the sender name and the sender email address. These are derived from the background settings that you would have configured during the authentication process of your email domain. Once again, if you haven't watched that video, head up and go and watch that video on how to authenticate your domain using system.io. The next field that I'm going to enter is the actual subject. You need to input a subject, otherwise you won't be able to progress through to the next step. This will be my subject headline and system.io gives you two visual editor templates that you can select from, or you can just select the classic editor in which point it'll just be a blank email body that will be presented to you. So select whichever one that is suitable for the type of email that you wish to send out. In this case, I will start off with the classic editor, go and select create. And here you can see the subject line has been input for me. My sender email and sender name is input as well. And here is the body of my email that I can now go and type up. In the interest of saving time, I've already created my email sequence and I'm just going to copy and paste the body of that email into this section. And here is the body of my email. If you want to add some customization to your email, so say, for example, on your input form, you requested that your potential client input their first name as part of the information that they provided to you. And you now want to address them in your actual email, head over to the available substitutes on the right hand side, go and copy the variable that you are looking for. In this case, we're looking for first name, control C, head back over to where you want to insert it, select hi. In this case, I'm going to put their hi first name. So whatever their name is that they input on your input form, that will then display. In this case, it would say hi, Brandon, and welcome to affiliate marketing success. If you wanted to create any links on your email, in your actual email, just head over to the word in which you want to link to and head over to the universal symbol where you're able to link that little chain, go and select that. And then you could just link through to another website. In this case, it is my Facebook group. And in there, the, you'll just insert the link to the web page that you want to take your, your customers to. Once you've done that, you select OK. I'm going to select cancel because that's already in there. And once you're happy with all the editing of your email, you can scroll up to the top. You got one of two options. You can either select save and send a test email. So once again, when you authenticated your email domain, you would have input a test email address in that portion of the settings. If you select the save and send the test email, this email will then get sent through to your test email address. For now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select save and publish. And here are a couple more settings that we can are able to configure for this particular email. So this first section here is the delay before sending the email. Because this is the very first email that I'm creating, I'm not going to insert a delay, but you could set a period from zero to however many other minutes, hours or days that you wish to delay this particular email. And then you could also select that this email needs to follow on from a previous email, which I will demonstrate shortly. And you can also select, select a time when that email should be sent. I'm going to want this email to be sent immediately. Once the, once that particular individual has registered on my, on my blog site, and you can then also select which days of the week you would prefer for the email to be delivered. Once again, this is a setting that I would probably assign to my second email that I'm going to create. So the first one that I'm going to select here is publish and I can't leave it blank but I, what I can do is I can set it to zero and go and select publish and there you can see my first email has been created within this particular campaign it's called ready set go is the subject title for this particular email um, there is a zero minute delay which means it will be sent immediately the number of contacts in this step I have zero at this stage um, the emails that have been sent also at this point I have zero and here are some statistics that you're able to view for this particular email how many were opened how many links were clicked on within this particular email were there any comments and here you can see that this particular email is actually now active some other stats that you're able to go and view right let's go and create our second email once again just select the add an email 
at this section and you'll see you will have the familiar layout again you need to give your email a subject title i will paste that in there and once again i can either select either of the templates to create this particular email and for this one i will create let's say we use that particular template and we go and select create system.io will then populate a visual editor for us to use in creating this particular email so slightly different from the classic template that we used previously so this editor works similar to the blog post editor or the funnel editor here you are able to edit the layout and the content of this particular email i'm not going to have a heading so i will delete that and i can also delete that section i would I could come over here and I could edit this particular image. I could change it to whatever it is that I wanted to. If I want to edit then the content of the email, which I'm going to do in this particular case, I would either select all of that and delete it and start typing what it is that I want. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to input the body of my email into this section. So once again, you can head over here and edit the content until your heart is content. Um, if you wanted to enter the first name in again, head over to choose a replacement and select first name. And you can see that'll then be inserted into your email and you can configure the padding. Once again, if you don't know what padding is, please go and watch my video on how to set up a blog website on system.io. You can align the text, whether it's left aligned, center aligned. Once you've viewed it and you're actually happy with it, you will then go and select save changes. And once that is saved, select exit. And a warning has popped up. If you are new to system.io and you haven't sent out 500 emails yet, there is a delay that applies to the sending out of all your emails. Just be aware of that until you reach that 500 email mark. Once again, you can, at this point, we are back at the same stage as what we were with the classic editor, where you can either save and send a test email address, which I recommend that you do. And in this case, I am just gonna select save and publish. And for this particular email, I am going to select a delay of one day that I want it. And because I already have my first email, you can see that I now have an option here to select that this particular email that I've now created is delayed by one day after the recipient has received the very first email. There is a time that I want that sent out. I can select whichever time that is. And let's say oh, I wanted to send that out at 6 a.m. in the morning. Once again, this will be determined by the time zone setting for your system.io account. So it'll be sent out at 6 a.m. your time. And are there any particular days of the week that you want this email to be sent out? For me, I would want this email to go out either on a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. I don't want people to receive anything on the weekend. So it'll be the weekdays and I will select publish. Now I have my second email that is in the queue and you can see that this particular email here has a one day delay and it follows on after the ready, set, go my first email and is will then be delivered one day later. And that being said, on a weekday based upon the settings that I have just selected. After you finish creating your last email and you can come and add emails to this campaign at a later stage as well. Um, but the next step is actually creating a workflow in order to get this campaign kicked off and managed going forward. So in order to do that, we head back up to automations on the top menu, head down to workflows. And we will create a new workflow. Go and select create. Once again, this is just a a name holder. I will call it new affiliates. We'll go and select create. And now we need to define workflow is going to is going to do for us. You can see here it is not active. It's currently inactive. Head over to edit. And we're going to create our first trigger. Now you will see how the whole process starts to come together. So we'll create our first trigger. In our case, that is going to be when a tag is added to a specific email address. So we'll select tag. And here you will select whichever tag this email sequence applies to. In this case, it's going to be a new affiliate. I will create that. The next step is go and select the plus. So here you can define what is the next step that is going to take place. For this demonstration, I'm going to go select action and I can now go and define that particular action. I can either enroll them in a course, subscribe to a campaign, which is what I'm going to want to do. And there's my campaign that we just created called new affiliate. And I go and select create. 
That is my new affiliate workflow that has been created. That is all I need to do. I select exit and I head back over here to activate this particular workflow. And you can then confirm your action. You're going to activate this workflow. I'm going to confirm it. And you see that amber cross that was there previously has now changed to a green tick. So what this means now, as soon as someone inputs their details into my input form on my blog page and I assign that tag new affiliate to them, they will then be added to that campaign and they will receive their very first email in that sequence of emails that belong to that particular campaign. And that's what it takes to create an email campaign within system.io. And to have it fully automated, it'll be delivering emails whenever somebody inputs their details into your input form. Once again, don't forget to like and subscribe to my email channel and and all importantly, hit that notification bell so that you get notified every time I upload a new video to YouTube. What's important to me as an entrepreneur is helping other entrepreneurs build business assets in the online space. If you're interested in creating assets that'll be able to generate a cash flow for you and hopefully a long-term passive income, in the links below, I'll have a link to a course that'll teach you how to create those particular assets in your business. So till the next time, have a great day. Bye.